Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're solving 438, find all anagrams in string. Given two strings S and P, return an array of all the start indices of P's anagrams in S. You may return the answer in any order. Remember that an anagram is basically given a string. You can jumble the words, the, the letters in any order, as long as it has the same um, amount of characters, doesn't have any extra ones, that's considered an anagram. So let's look at an example here. So we're given that P equals ABC, and we're given the string CBAEBACBA, whatever, that's the string. So what are the anagram positions? Well, we can see, let's see where has ABC. We can see that the first three, um, that substring has ABC. So that one starts at the first index. Uh, and then we can also see ABC, this one here. Uh, and that starts at what looks like the one, zero, one, two, three, I think it's fifth, right? Yeah, it looks like the sixth index. Um, so yeah, those are basically the two solutions. And you know, we, there's no point of doing the second example because it's, it's relatively straightforward. The way that we wanna do this problem is, what we wanna do is just have a sliding window of basically of length p because obviously we don't want more characters that's not an anagram it has to have exactly uh, the same characters and exactly the same count you can't have any extra ones otherwise you know technically the whole string would be an anagram but it doesn't work that way it has to be exactly the same characters and the same frequency so we're just going to have a sliding window of length p and we're just going to keep track of the current characters uh in s and we're also going to have uh, a dictionary which tells us the counts in P. So basically uh, for this example, A will equal to one, B will obviously equal to one, and same with C. And what we're gonna do, like I said, we're going to iterate over S and we're gonna go basically from left to right and we're gonna keep a sliding window of length P. And in this window, obviously we're gonna have some characters and we're gonna maintain a separate dictionary for P to basically keep track of all of the current characters, uh, sorry, of S, all, all the current characters in our window, right? Um, and this can be, you know, of A, blah, 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 whatever, all the characters that are basically in our current uh, sliding window. And after we process each character, we're basically gonna check, is there a quality between these two? If there is, then our current index can be considered a anagram start. So we can basically just add it um, to our result and then we'll move on we'll strip the left character as we go along and we'll add the right character uh, as we go along as well and we'll basically just do this and at the end we'll basically have found our solution so like I said first thing we need to do is basically just count all of the characters in P then we're gonna have a sliding window of length basically P um, and then we're going to basically keep track of all the counts in uh, our sliding window. If the two counts dictionaries are the same, then we have uh, a solution and we can keep going on and finding all of these anagram locations. And once we parse the string, then we're done. So that's how you solve this problem. Relatively straightforward. Let's now go to the code editor and type this one up. It's quite quick. All right, we are in the code editor. Let's type this up. To help us, we're actually going to keep track of the length of both of our strings, just so we can have access to it. We're gonna need it as we process them. So let's just use it. So we're gonna say the length of S is gonna equal, oops, sorry, uh, len S is gonna equal to the length of S. The length of P is going to equal to the length of P. If S is actually shorter than P, then there's no possible way to build an anagram because obviously it's shorter than it, therefore you can't have the same amount of characters. Uh, so we can actually just return uh, empty here because there's nothing we can do. So we're actually gonna say if the length of S is actually less than the length of P, then there's nothing we can do. We just return an empty list. Now, what we wanna do is we want to basically count the number of characters in uh, P because we're gonna need that. So we're gonna say P count and we're just gonna use a nice little syntactic sugar here in Python, we're just gonna say collections.counter of P, that will basically just count all of the characters. <clears throat> now for S count, um, we basically just need to have um, a counter, so we're gonna say default dict and integer, 
And what do we need to do? We also need a result array. So let's just call this res, and this is gonna store our output here. So we need to basically build our sliding window, and we're gonna do that by iterating over s. So we're gonna say for i in range of len s, oops, len s, what do we want to do? We obviously have now taken a new character, so we wanna add that to our s count dictionary. So we're gonna say s count of whatever the current character is, so s of the ith index. We're gonna increment its count in the dictionary. And now what we need to do is we need to actually remove a character from the left side of the window if our sliding window is actually greater than or equal to um, the sliding window size, which is of course going to be the length of p. So we're gonna say if i is actually greater than the length of p. Um, what we want to do here is we want to now remove a character if its count is actually, um, so basically if a character is in our dictionary, we want to, we want to decrement its count by one. If its count is currently um, one, then we would just want to delete the key because its key is now zero and we would just want to keep our dictionary kind of organized. So we're going to say if the s count of our current character, sorry, of the left character, so the character on the left of our sliding window is our current i index minus the length of p, because remember that's the length of our sliding window. So we're going to say minus the length of p. If its count actually equals to one, then what we want to do is we want to just say delete that key. So we're going to delete from s count um, the character whatever at s uh, i minus len p. Okay, so we delete it. Otherwise, we decrement its count. So we're going to say s count of s of i minus s. Len p, and maybe we can probably clean this code up a bit, but it's fine. Uh, we're going to decrement that count by one. Cool. Um, now, now that we've basically added our new character to our sliding window, we've removed the left character. What we need to do is just check whether or not the two dictionaries are actually the same. So we're going to say p count. Uh, sorry, if p count equals to s count then we want to basically say res the append our current um, the current left position because remember we append the start of the anagram not uh, our current index so the start of the anagram will basically happen at i minus the length of p um, plus one because remember that i minus length of p will actually be the character that we need to get rid of the i minus length of p plus one will be the start of our window. And yeah, that's all we have to do. Um, and then all we just need to do is just return our results in the end. Let's just run this, make sure it s count. Ah, if s count. Okay, that should hopefully do. Great. Uh, append. All right, lol. Okay, let's just submit this and we are good to go. Cool. What is the time and space complexity here? So let's walk through uh, each line here. So this length, um, don't have to worry about that. Um, then we have basically this collections dot counter. So this is basically going to tell us how many items are in P. So obviously that is going to be big O of P to calculate that. Then what we're doing is we're iterating over our s for every single index uh, and we're basically just updating a dictionary key so that's just going to take big o of s where p uh, equals len of p equals length ah, length of p and then s equals length of s so that's going to be the time complexity there uh, for the space complexity if you kind of actually look back to how this problem was given to us S and P both consist of lowercase English letters. So in our dictionaries, we're gonna be storing at maximum uh, in both of them, 26 characters. So, you know, the counts we need to store at any time is big O of 26 plus big O of 26. Of course, 
these are just constants, so it reduces down to one because we have that constraint. So actually, this is technically a constant space solution because we know upfront uh, the maximum amount of space which we used, and that's just 26 characters in both of the uh, dictionaries. So we get a nice constant space algorithm. So that is how you solve this problem, relatively straightforward. Again, quite a good problem for practicing your um, sliding windows, pretty straightforward. Just move the window end up by one, move um, you know the left side up forward, and then you know do whatever you need to do to recalibrate your window and continue on. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, why not leave it a like and a comment? Subscription to the channel really helps me grow, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.